going to talk for just a little bit about teaching the articles a an and the. Now, if you're teaching young children, we don't use meta language. We don't talk to them about these are the articles and you use them here and you use them there. Instead, with young learners, we just teach them songs and poems in which they hear these patterns and then they learn to use them. And I will show you one for young learners. This is a very popular song. All children in the United States know it. But it shows how we use the in front of singular count nouns. The incy wincy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the incy wincy spider went up the spout again. It's a song about keep trying. <laughs> but it also teaches children to use the. If we're working with older students, ones perhaps especially students who understand mathematics, Sometimes it's helpful to show them how A and the work mathematically. One thing with the articles is you have to know if your noun is a count meaning or a non-count meaning. But if it has a count meaning, you can show students this set theory from math, okay? Those are all stars, okay. and if I choose one of them, I can say A star. Mm -hmm. And when you use A, it means you didn't select all of them. Mm -hmm. You took one and not the rest. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if you are working with a situation where there's only one thing in the set, there's this the sun, because there's only one sun in the world. The problem is, it could be there's only one in the whole world, or it could be there's only one in the little world of our conversation. So for example, with my pencils, I can say, I want the red pencil. Now, there are many, many red pencils in the world, but in the little world of our conversation, there's only one. That's the one I want. When you're working with uh, plurals, this is singular count noun, bad handwriting. If you're working with plurals or uh, non-count nouns, You use nothing if you're referring to the stuff, the things, the idea in general. Those are potatoes. Okay? <laughs> potatoes in general, I like potatoes. But I don't like the potatoes in this soup. Yeah. And it's a subset. Mathematically, we'd say. So the potatoes in this soup. But potatoes, mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. I like coffee, but I don't like the coffee that Mary makes. Let me see. Oh, air. That's non-count. Air is general. But you can say the air in Tashkent is clean. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not all the air in the world. It's a subset. It's the air in Tashkent. And I'll show you one more thing. You can cut it off if you need to. <clears throat> if I have a lot of pencils, I can say, choose a pen a pencil. Do you choose a pencil for me? Okay. Then I say, 
give me the pencil. Why did it change from A to the? Because here, there are many pencils. We didn't take all of them, we just took a pencil. But as soon as we do that, the little world of our conversation gets small. <laughs> There's only one pencil now. Some people say, oh, it's a first mention, second mention rule. But really, it's first there are many, then our conversation is about just one. And I say, the pencil. Would you like more or is that enough? 